Originally, this is going to be like a uh, weekly vlog with some more writing updates. But this first week of April, there's been a lot going on. So this is a real life or real week in the life of an author mom slash travel mom slash whatever other things you want to put in. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie. I am a self-published author of several books and this is my introduction to Camp Anorama April 2023 as well as my weekly vlog for the first week of Camp Anorama. I was going to do daily vlogs but the area that I'm in currently uh, our internet signal is not the greatest. It's still, I do everything on my phone so that's why. So I did, today is Saturday, Thursday night, I started uploading a video on my phone and got stalled. So that one's gonna come out late. This video will come out on the, probably Friday, next week on Friday, the 7th. And then I'll start another one Saturday through the following Friday. I think that's how my weekly update videos will go, probably. So, for starters, let's talk about what I'm going to be doing for Camp Panorama this year. Um, I'm not starting a new project. I am not doing a high word count. I'm not stressing about it either. I am not doing a small town romance story this time around. Um, I am continuing a draft of a story that I've had in my computer for a while. I actually forgot about it till I read it to one of my kids and they really seemed to like it and it's, it really was quite funny. It's a fantasy adventure. I got the idea from just one night thinking about something and the idea of um, Xena Warrior Princess came into my head and then I was so I went from there to Gabriella, how Gabriella used to stay at home, and then they went on an adventure and met people and did things. So that's kind of where I got the idea from. There's magic, sorcery, talking animals, and um, dueling kingdoms and things of that nature. I have like 20,000 and some change words drafted. I fast drafted it. Or zero drafted it. I don't know. I guess I'd say I uh, pinched the first 20,000 words. Um, so my goal this Camp Nanorama is to do another 20,000 words. I don't have a publication date of when I'm going to say this is definitely going to be published in this time, but. And usually I try to write more than 20,000 words in a month, but uh, I've been really dragging with energy lately. And no, there's no amount of rest, relaxation, relaxation self-care, and uh, or caffeine, and eating healthy, and blah 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 is going to make it better. I've tried all those things, it doesn't really work, so when my MS tells me that I need to take it easy and sleep, I sleep. That means there's less dishes that are cleaned or less writing that is done. I'm fine with it. All the necessary things are taken care of, such as, you know, kid stuff and home stuff. And my husband's around. It's not like I'm the only one doing chores and things like that. Uh, we will be going back to school next week. Um, Monday, I have a therapy appointment. And so... That's going to take a little bit of time of driving back and forth. And that's on Monday. And then Tuesday, we're moving locations of our RV. And then Thursday, we're driving over the mountain pass to go see a doctor for myself to get my MS medication again. But the thing is, I have to see this um, doctor, 
this doctor. I forget her specialty name. That's where I get my infusion done. Now I have to go see her before I get my infusion done. And usually I get done on the same day. But she doesn't have any openings until the middle of May. And I'll definitely get my medication here before the middle of May. And it's a little bit behind in scheduling anyhow. So, yeah. And it's at 8 a.m. 8 o'clock in the freaking morning on Thursday. And it's like 270 mile drive. So that'll be fun. All right, so that's what my hectic schedule is, schedule is like this coming up week. And those are bits and pieces of things you'll be seeing in this video. Um, and so today my plan is to a, um, finally draw in my monthly calendar log thing in my bullet journal, set up my week in my bullet journal. And then, um, yeah, and then, um, write. So my goal is write 20,000 words in the month of April. So if I can write around six to 8,000 words a week, give or take, I think, oh, well, can I do math? Let's see here. 3,000 words. Yeah, anyways, or trying around 6,000 words a week, be around 20,000 words. So I don't really like do math right now, but I think I'm gonna do around 6,000 words. One week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. You know, if I do 6,000 words for four weeks in a row, that's 24,000. So, we'll just see what gets done. I'm going to, uh, when I get off of this clip here, I'm going to get mine and see if there's any live streams I can watch today. My internet's a little wonky, so sometimes if I use my cell signal internet, my regular internet on my phone, uh, sometimes the live streams lag a lot. And I usually go to the lodge, but it's raining and I'm like walking in the rain. So I'll try doing that. If not, then I will just write on my own. I really need to pull out my document and figure out what I'm going to do next. I do know that there's this magic book and the character is probably going to be able to look and read the magic book. I also kind of want to figure out where they are in the world map-wise. I haven't done that yet. I, I have a little, tiny bit of runny nose. Hoping I'm not getting a cold. Because that would just be perfect. Okay, I think that's it for my introduction. Hope you follow this along. Um, also, if anyone knows how to put like... Um, timestamps in the description or in your video that'd be excellent because i don't know how to do that okay stay tuned all right well my saturday's off to a good start i got some planning and my bullet journaling done but i realized maybe i need to go back to a regular pre-made planner because i forgot an important appointment that i had today at noon and now it's three o'clock and we're a little bit late for it but it's still gonna happen it's been raining off and on today. I just say it's blue skies now. Uh, but uh, we're going to go have lunch at the FJ Buffet. That is my appointment today. Um, it's a buffet place in Portland, Oregon, where we're at. And then um, hopefully I can snap myself awake. Not really. I'm just drained of energy. And I thought today was Friday. I mean, I knew it was Saturday. I knew it, but I forgot I had an appointment because I didn't write it down anywhere. Not any freaking sticky notes or in a planner or nothing so I need to figure out a planner that I need to write all of my stuff in and hopefully I remember it is Sunday yeah Sunday April 2nd I've not written any words yet but I learned something about myself and yes it's snowing in Oregon woohoo um I learned something about myself but even though I like the idea of bullet journaling and creating spreads and all that and tracking stuff in a bullet journal it's not for me. 
Why? Uh, mainly because I'm too much of a perfectionist. I'm trying to get it right. And two, as I was trying to set it up for April, May, and June, I forgot a very important date with my daughter yesterday. So I'm gonna be in my A5 um, plum paper undated planner that I already predated the stickers and all that. And do it in there. I'm still gonna play around, around with Notion, see if I can get it, just play around with it, see what I can do with it. Um, I made some Trello boards for the kids' school stuff. Mainly it's just a checkoff list, like this is what needs to be done by the end of the school year. I was talking about Trello boards when my husband came out of the lodge with the kids. Uh, they decided to bail on that because there was someone in there that they didn't feel comfortable around. So we all left. I forgot where I was going with that. But, um, oh yeah, with Trello, I have um, a board that has all of Jackson's fifth grade stuff and all of Ileana's eighth grade stuff. And each card is just a checklist of all the lessons I want to get done by the end of the year. Um, so it kind of just lets me know how far they're going. But I also have another thing that I have left over of the mini planners I've been trying. And so I'll be using that one. I'll show you what it looks like. Just a small monthly, monthly planner. I'll show you what I did. So right now I just have like appointment days and important travel days, things like that. I'm just writing down the blue is for Jackson, purple is for Illy, and I'm writing down the different lessons I went on doing during the week. It's Monday at 8.45 in the morning, and we get to drive normally like 45 minutes, but probably takes a little longer in the freshly fallen snow. Let's see if I can show that sign. See, freshly fallen snow. I am so excited. First stop after we drove 12 miles is gas. How much is gas here, babe? Uh, $4.39 It's pretty good, considering where we are. At least the snow melted off the road, right? Yeah. What's wrong? If it snows again, we get black ice. I'm aware, okay? Thank you very much. We're moving to our location, so we're hoping that it doesn't, like... <sighs> Luckily, I have low blood pressure, so I'm not going to have a heart attack on the road. No, I'm kidding. My husband's a really good driver. It's the people around us that it's not. I'm not thrilled with at all. It's Wednesday morning. You can hear my uh, diesel truck running in the background. Nope, it is Tuesday morning. I don't even know what day of the week it is anymore. Tuesday morning. And uh, we're getting ready to pack up the trailer and move to, it's funny to say it, less wet Washington right now. Usually the kids help me, like, break down the trailer all the way to get ready to move. But it's wet and cold, so they're in the RV, or in the truck right here, um, reading and stuff, so. Nope, I haven't done any writing yet this week. I'm just not as gung ho this gung ho like woohoo, let's go writing. Like I usually do. I never get to show you guys a view of our truck and trailer. So this is the path from the bathroom. One of the many bathrooms and paths. Here's my husband. I need to wash my hands after dealing with the sewer hoses and stuff. So, there is our trailer. Don't get in, Jess. I'm coming right up behind you. How are you feeling about this morning? Ow. Ow? Ow. Yeah, my shoulder hurts. Yeah, my, my, my lower back hurts. It's been a while since I've had no help from the kids. 
<laughs> ready to go maybe get some I'm ready for the sun ready for this yeah I'm looking forward to the end of the month hopefully we can get out of here any parting words no, nothing. No. Usually, I have a funny thing to say. Yeah, I, I do. You're just, uh, you're just. He's on low. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. It is now Wednesday morning, about nine o'clock. <sighs> it was a long day yesterday. After we um, got to our next spot, we're staying at. And we set up our site, which is really quick. We went and got something to eat. We went to a, like a Chinese, Vietnamese restaurant. It was pretty good. And then we went to Walmart and did a little bit of grocery shopping, but we got a couch and we got bedding and stuff for my daughter. Um, I was going to come back and like, do the dishes because I today I'm in the lot they need washed. Uh, but I said to my husband, I said, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I'll do the couch and I'll do the school for the kids, and you can do the dishes because I don't want to know. And you're not working tomorrow, so you can do it. So that's what we're doing today. Um, today we got in, or yesterday we got the couch, and now I'm organizing, cleaning so that way when it comes time for me to sit on my butt. And do a lot of words i don't feel like i'm ignoring the house so right now it's in a state of disarray there's the new couch there's uh, there's the old couch that couch um was behind me the brown couch is a new one they didn't have the black couch but i'm okay getting different one that black couch will now be made into a permanent bed for my daughter and um yeah so we're just and then i have to figure out where the crap we got to put I have so many clothes, but we are moving back down south so I can like get rid of or at the very least pack away underneath my bed in um, like plastic bags, double plastic bags underneath my bed out of the way. Things like heavy sweaters and layers, like heavy layers, long sleeve shirts. So to go back down south, I can go back to my hoodie and one pair of jeans, my three or four pairs of leggings, like lounge pants. And, um, yeah, I need to go through my clothes again. I've been trying to lose weight, not like working out lose weight, but watching what I'm eating a little bit better, drinking more water. Um, I am finally been under 200 pounds for a good two weeks, which means that I can get rid of some of my bigger size clothes, let's say. All right. So this is what it looks like on Wednesday afternoon. I will show you guys um, what it looks like when it's finished. It is now 6.30 on Wednesday. Um, we're leaving like in between 1.30 and 2 in the morning. GPS says it'll take about five hours ish, um, but we're also driving in the dark. So, and there may be ice or snow in the past, so we're gonna leave between 1 30 and 2 in the morning, which is about the time I'm starting to wind down for the night. So, I know there's not any way I'm gonna be able to go to sleep before then. So, I think I will just spend some time um, working on my stuff. Like my actual writing, most likely. Um, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, but yeah, it is uh, really early to leave, but it needs to be done. And so that's what we're doing. And when I made the appointment, the passes are clear. And the very same day later in the afternoon, it dumped. So, not my fault. Hello everyone, it is 8.30 in the morning on Friday. <sighs> Yesterday was a very long day of driving, but I got taken care of. We left at 1.45 in the morning and got back at 
7.30 at night. We got to our destination, did my doctor's appointment, saw some family. My husband um, checked in with his friend and his boss. Same person, really. And, and then we left. It rained a lot, but not in the bend where we were at. Um, but it rained a lot. Most of the time we drove yesterday, so yay. Uh, the plan is today is the kids asked what we're doing today, and I told them a whole lot of nothing. Do nothing. Dad's doing a load of laundry, but other than that, we're doing nothing today. I'm requiring you to do nothing, I should say. So, I mean, since I have nothing planned, today would be a good day to finally open my computer up for the first time this month. Take a look at it, right? Alright. That's it. Let's continue with my day. So I was getting ready to, I forgot what I was getting ready to do, but I look out my window and I saw those really cute deer. I was really, I know there's deer around, there's signs that say deer have the right of way in this campground we're at, but those were the first deer we've seen since we've been coming to this campground off and on since the beginning of February. All right, my plan now is to get something to eat, finish my muffin that I'm eating, at, which is right behind me on that shelf there. And then I'm going to open up my computer and see what comes out of my brain today. That's the plan. And then I'm going to be uploading this vlog uh, tonight. Um, so right now it is like 21 minutes long. So I'm not sure how long that's going to take to process. <sighs> so we'll see. Uh, I might like close up the vlog like this afternoon. And then you and then go to the lodge campground and use the Wi-Fi there to start processing it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure. But that's the plan today is eat something, open my computer, and see what happens. I hope you're enjoying this vlog. It's very not writing focused, but lately it's been more life focused and writing focused right now for me. All right, so I just got done editing my video and it is like 22 minutes long. Last time I edited it or uploaded a video that was 12 minutes long, it took like a day and a half. I haven't written anything, but I did update my website and I showed the image that I put on my website in the clip right before this, all by five love and romance books in one image. Um, so that's what I did instead of writing anything. And now I'm going to finish um, editing this video and then start uploading it to YouTube. Let's say I have enough space on my thing that I filmed on. If you made it all the way to the end, I thank you very much and I will catch you guys next week long video of mine. Have a great day. Bye.